Global companies or those looking to expand around the world or beyond their borders are opening their products and services to a large number of potential customers who probably don't speak the same language, which means you'll probably want to localize your site to ensure you reach the maximum number of potential customers as possible. Along with these new customers will almost certainly come new data privacy laws you'll have to comply with. One of the base tendencies of most, if not all of these new laws, is the ability for your visitors to understand what data you're collecting about them and how you're planning on using it in easy to understand language. Which means you'll need to configure your consent management platform for all these new languages. And that brings us to the topic of today's video how to configure and serve users in different geographies' experiences in their preferred languages. What's up everyone, I'm Ryan Overton, a developer advocate here at Catch. And today, I'll be showing you how to configure multiple languages for your experiences. Our philosophy is you know your business and customers best, so we give you the ability to add translations to the most important parts of your experiences. So let's head on over to the Catch website and get started adding new translations to your experiences. Once you log into your organization on Catch, navigate to the Languages page under Experience Server. As you can see, I've already got English and French configured. Now let's add Spanish to our supported languages. Click on Manage Languages. In the dialog box, you'll see a list of available languages to add on the left and the language you've already added on the right. Scroll down on the left side until you see Spanish and select it. With our language selected, click on Confirm. Our new language is currently sitting in a disabled state, which means it's not currently being served to our customers. When we're ready for our language to go live, we'll click on the Enable button. Quick note, hitting Enable will set translations live immediately. We recommend finalizing the translations in your experiences and purposes first then coming back to this screen to hit Enable as a final step. Now we're ready to add our translations. Navigate to Experience Server in the top nav and select Experiences. Click on the first experience. You can select the Translations tab to see the various translations, but we'll go ahead and select Edit to add our translations for the various elements in our experience. To add a translation, select an element and add the translation for that element. Repeat this until all elements within the experience have a translation added. With all our translations added, we'll click the Save button. Now repeat this same process for any other experiences you may have. Now it may seem like we're finished and ready to enable our new language, but if you'll remember, one of the items we display within our experiences are the purposes for which we are collecting data. So let's go add a translation for each of those so our users can understand what the purpose of our data collection is. We'll start by navigating to Policy Center, then Purposes. Select the first purpose in the list, then click on Edit, scroll down, and enter our translations. We'll repeat this process for each additional purpose we have listed. With all our translations entered for our experiences and purposes, we're ready to enable our new language. So now navigate back to Experience Server and Languages and click Enable on our new language. The Catch Smart tag decides which language to serve based on the user's browser settings. So we'll change our browser's default settings to Spanish and voila, we see our Catch experience displaying in our new language. 